morning, folks. Dan George, Operations Section Chief here at the Creek Fire. Um, nice, clear, sunny, sunny Sunday morning, which is good. Um, thank you for your patience, especially in that Central Camp Road area. Um, as I give the update, um, I'll start up here in the Division Golf, which is the upper end of the fire. They made good progress up there yesterday. Um, they're, they're pretty much done with all the stuff up there that they can get done, that they've identified that needs to be done. And they're hoping um, today, but probably Monday, they'll start moving some equipment down. They hope to be complete on this whole upper end um, and get out of there um, by end of um, work on Monday. Down in, in Division Bravo, like I said, in that Central Camp Road, that's what they're, 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 I, um, that's where all the concentration of their work is going to, to get that road open. Like I said, we were initially looking at probably Wednesday or Thursday to get that stuff done. It looks like they're hoping to be done by today, but it might go into tomorrow afternoon. Um, and again, that's because um, the road closures that we're doing during the day, it really helped get, let those guys get their work done and expedite all that stuff up. Um, we've completed the stuff down here on the Dinky Creek Road. Um, <clears throat> they're going to go in today and do some cleanup, pull some flagging, stuff like that. And then um, the, the uh, resource advisors will be in there before we pull all the equipment out to make sure that there's nothing um, left that they can get to without doing any more damage up there. Um, yesterday, they had a little bit of delay getting some equipment up to the Huntington Lake area, but today will be a full day with all the equipment up there to, to get all those snag trees out from around the lake and um, so that we can get that back open. They're anticipating up there to be done hopefully Tuesday, uh, but it may also go into Wednesday and that will be dependent upon what the storm that's coming in Tuesday night, Wednesday, how long it lasts. The good thing, they're, they're kind of working in the road system area. Um, that was a good thing. I'm going to talk a little bit this morning about what you see this red line that's up in here. And, a lot of that open line up in there is in the wilderness. <clears throat> We've been monitoring it. We are prepared if something, some fluke, wind weather, something comes in. Um, we do have sufficient uh, um, resources here to deal with that. Um, but like I said, it's, it's hung up in rock and snow and you'll see some occasional smoke that comes out of there. But that occasional smoke might be a, um, a little eighth of an acre um, brush field that's burning out that's stuck in between some two rocks. But we're, we're keeping an eye on that. But it's looking good up in there. And then um, I'll give you a little bit of statistics. Um, uh, let's see, they had a total of 72 mile, or I'm sorry, 98 miles of hand line that were put in into this fire. And right now we're, we have um, re uh, repaired 72 miles of that hand line. There was a total of 148 miles of road line that required some, some type of repair. We've completed, or not we, the teams that were here previous to us, um, today's date, we've completed 118 miles of um, road, road repair, and there was 338 miles of dozer line. It's a lot of dozer line out there. To this date, we have 259 miles of that stuff repaired. And a lot of the stuff that's left over, I think today they'll finish um, a, a, the rest of a section uh, about a half a mile long. But the rest of the dozer line is stuff that right now is covered with snow, so they can't get in there and deal with it. So it's good that it's covered with sto snow, which means it'll be stable for the winter time. Um, we don't know what, what kind of snow we're going to get coming in Tuesday, Wednesday, but um, you know we're in that time, time of the year when the weather comes in and um, we don't know what it's going to bring. So made good progress. Again, thank you for your patience, especially over here in the Central Camp Road area. And then if you're having to go up to um, Huntington Lake and having to deal with any of those delays there, again, thank you. Um, we're probably three, three to five days ahead of schedule just due to the fact that we were able to do some road closures and we had the good weather um, and got that snow melt. With that, again, thank you for your patience. Day three here for us. And the last thing I want to say is um, we bumped containment yesterday at a 78% contained from 70 and um, We'll look at how, like I said, the rest of that that's open is that the, all this red line and all the stuff that's in the wilderness. And it'll probably stay to that until we get a, get a true season ending event um, when it's got two or three feet of snow on top of it. With that, thank you. Have a nice Sunday. And we'll talk to you again tomorrow morning.